We are one week away from the Premier League start. Just one week, guys. We've got Van der Ven on the way. Ashley Phillips signs for Spurs. We've got Donis, uh, Shakhtar Donis tomorrow. Barcelona in midweek. A lot. It's going to be a busy week this week. We've got much to get through. Don't forget, guys, the watch along is tomorrow for the Shakhtar Donis game. Make sure you lock in for that. And let's get this morning's show on the road. Let's go. <laughs> Good morning and good morning to you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to yet again another wet North London. The rain, as you can see, dripping around me. What can you do? Guys, welcome. A little bit later than normal, guys. Um, yesterday we finished our live stream. Myself, Stel, um, JP, Brian and Dan joined us as well. Dan THFC. Um, joined us whilst we did a late late night stream because we was all awaiting for the confirmation of um, Kane joining Bayern, which was due to be announced at midnight, whether it be our time or or G Germany's time. Anyway, that announcement didn't come. The back pedal happened. It no, it didn't look like this going to happen Saturday. Now we're looking at. It could be happening on the weekend. Whilst that is happening, there is also um, Mickey Van der Ven. Um, Mickey Van der Ven's um, tra uh, transfer is is fast approaching as well. It looks like um, the clubs have an agreement. Personal terms, like I've said in previous videos, they have been um, in place for... For a long, long time, Mickey van der, Men, uh, van der Ven sorry, made it very, very clear that he wanted to join Spurs. He wants to come to the Premier League. So those terms with the player were long, long time done. It was just a question of sorting out the transfer fee and, and what have you with, between the two clubs. And that looks like now is in place. And he will be joining us. Finally, 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 we get a defender over the line. Um, by the way, guys, if you missed last night's um, live stream, because like I said, it was late. Well, certainly UK time, it was late. And perhaps Friday night is after the night that people, people go out. So if you do miss it or missed it, head over to our channel, have a look at it. Um, we spoke, obviously, Kane was the, was the discussion to begin with. But we did start afterwards speaking about all things Spurs. And it was a really good stream with really good opinions from a lot of different opinions as well from the panel um so head over to check it out also check out stell's um uh, analysis of the player mickey van der ven the things that he's really good at the things that he needs to improve on how his um how his move to spurs can impact our defense uh, and so forth really good analysis i would really encourage you guys to head over to to, to, to the channel and check stell's tactic tactical analysis and a player analysis not just him but also tap sober who's also linked with our club but talking of defenders one that we definitely 100 percent signed signature on the list is ashley phillips tottenham confirmed signing of highly rated defender ashley phillips from blackburn Ashley Phillips has seen his transfer for Blackburn to Tottenham confirmed in a move set uh, to cost the North Londoners just two million. So this was what all was about. Blackburn wanted the full price and Spurs triggered a clause that perhaps wasn't known to Blackburn or perhaps they wanted to keep it in and in and of But anyway, it all came down to this clause that Daniel Levy kept at it until he signed his man. Incredible. Anyway, we got him for two million, guys. Um, listen, if there's a clause in place, you ain't got to trigger it. Get Why pay free when you can get him to for two? 
Um, so the Athletic, as it's all reports, it's also on the Tottenham website. It is official, guys. Tottenham have announced the signing of Ashley Phillips from Championship side Blackburn Rovers. The 18-year-old has signed a five-year contract with the club in a move that cost Spurs in the region of two million. An agreement had been reached in July that would have seen Tottenham pay three million up front and a further two million in add-ons. However, Blackman pulled out of the those talks and set a new asking price at 9.5 million. My mind. Unfortunately, that ploy backfired with no bidding war starting and Spurs then, a, then able to activate a 2 million release clause which came into effect on Friday. And that will explain why there was the where, 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 where we let that deal go back in July and waited till till now really. Um, the teenager started his youth career at Curzon Ashton in, Nas in the National League North before he joined Blackburn as a 12-year-old. So he was playing literally gra grass for his football. Um, the defender quickly progressed through the Rovers Academy, featuring uh, regularly for the under-18 age of 15 years old and making his under-23 debut the following season. Wow, guys. In the 21-22 campaign, Phillips trained with the first squad for most of the season before his senior debut came in a Carabao Cup fourth round win over Hartlepool United in August 2022, becoming the fourth youngest player in Blackburn's history at 17 years old and 45 days. New Spurs boss Ange Postecoglou has been clamouring for a new centre-back addition and he's finally got his wish to some degree. It is currently unknown whether Phillips will go either in the, into the first team, but another defensive arrival is on the horizon, who is sure to be involved in those plans. After a month of talks, Spurs have finally um, finalised the transfer of Vicky van der Ven from Wolfsburg. Daniel Levy has agreed a package approaching £43 million to sign the centre-back this summer. So, like I said, van der Ven's on his way. We've got a young Ashley Phillips. It remains to be seen whether he will stay in the first team. Will he go in the under-23s? Um, that that it, it, It's all on the player, really. It will all come down to how good the player is. Is he ready for that for that jump into the Premier League? Listen, there's clear. It's very, very clear that the talent is there. Um, he's progressed so fast in such a short... Uh, uh, you know, 12, 12 years old, got signed up by... by, by by um by Blackburn and you know hadn't played only grassroots football. He's jumped into the, the the Blackburn Academy, made his debut, um, sixteen years old, and now at eighteen he finds himself Tottenham. There's clear clear talent there. Big guy. It just remains to be seen. You know, Ange Postecoglou does work really well with the youngsters. Can he make the the jump? It's the same things we'll be discussing now for the likes of uh, Jed Spence and those all young... Uh, Doji, 18 years old, is playing Serie A. Can he do it in the Premier League? Youngsters, we are now moving on to to, to, to the future, the rebuild. Um, it all comes down to the players. The players have been signed by Spurs, so there's clearly something there um, about these young players. Van der Ven, 21 years old, you know, a lot of money for him. 21 years old, though. Can they do it in the Premier League? Can Ashley Phillips do it in the Premier League or, or in, in the first team? Or will he have to be, play a little bit of time with the under-23s whilst he develops and they bring him up to scratch? It will all be... Look, I'm excited. Having a youngster, youngster players um, involved in the team, as long as we get that mix right with the... the, 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 the I wouldn't say veterans, but older players, experienced players, I think if you can get the right mix together, it can make you hot. It could really make you hot. Um, and now, I think now that, that, that we, we need to conclude with this Harry Kane um, situation. Once that happens, I'm not saying Harry Kane is any way or form a grey cloud. And I said it in last night's stream. He's not a grey cloud. But I think this situation at the club right now needs to just be removed. Um, if he signs for Bayern, it is what it is. It, 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 it's gonna For me, it's going to happen, guys. He's going to go... Um, take that money, reinvest it, hopefully reinvest it into the players required. Perhaps maybe get Tap Sober in um, and really reinforce that defensive line. Maybe holding mid remains to be seen. There is time to do that because the market is open to the 31st of August. However, the league does start next week. So I don't want to leave it to the end of the month. I think we need those players in as quickly as possible. Use that money from Kane's transfer in, and, and, and put it into the team 
that would be the best with outcome we can hope for. Um, let me know your thoughts, guys, in the comments below. Like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, forever always, it's come on you Spurs. The first game we look for, Robbie. Tottenham away. When we got Tottenham away.